and not to be missed. <laughs> All right, uh, we do have on the line uh, Johann Engelbrecht, ac- acting vice principal for teaching and learning and student affairs at the, at the University of Pretoria. Uh, Johann, good afternoon. Welcome to 2000. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, mm. and, and thanks for, for being part of uh, this regular feature we've been having for a couple of weeks now, the Tituga Bursary Fund. I think first up, uh, uh, Johan, uh, l- let's talk about the, the results of the 2012 Maths Olympiads. Uh, what do they indicate about the state of maths uh, education in the country? In the uh, 2012 Mathematics Olympiad, we did rather well. Uh, in fact, I think we came about 56 out of 100 countries. So mm. that's not a true reflection of what is happening in the mathematics all over the country because, as we know, uh, not everything is going well in mathematics. But uh, with regards to this particular measuring instrument, if you can call it that, we are doing well. We have been participating in this uh, Olympiad for uh, since 1992, and our teams are doing are doing well. Mm. Now, now, how can uh, mass education be improved? I mean, you mentioned we're at 56 out of 100 countries, not too bad, but uh, a lot of work needs to be done, learners and teachers, uh, you know, in terms of our performance in maths as a whole. Yes. I think the big problem, uh, Ernest, in uh, mathematics countrywide is that uh, we really need uh, more people that are, that will become mathematics teachers. I think Many of the good mathematics teachers are are, uh, pulled from the schools and they go into industry. And uh, we have great teachers at at, at many schools. But I think in the majority of schools, we uh, we have a problem with commitment and quality of teachers. But this is a a wide problem and uh, it has to be addressed on a a, a national level. Uh, we, the, I'm from the South African Mathematics Foundation, mm-hmm. and uh, we are sort of represent mathematics in the country by, in the sense that uh, the uh, learned societies are all involved in, in, in the Mathematics Foundation, and we are trying from our side to do things in government, and many NGOs are trying, but I think it needs a joint effort to get together and do something about the mathematics situation. Mm, mm. And, and, and Johan, representing, of course, from the uh, Maths Foundation, do you also a uh, vice principal for teaching and learning and yes. uh, student affairs at the University of Pretoria, as I mentioned earlier. How uh, would you advise, or what advice can you give to learners about the choices they make regarding core maths as opposed to maths literacy? I think... Uh, I. Uh, there are two answers to your question. First of all, I, I think one should realize that mathematics literacy is not meant for students that want to do a program in mathematics. Any, uh, high, any higher education which involves math, uh, num, uh, numeracy, such as engineering, medicine, uh, even BCom degrees and any science, science degree, mm-hmm. in that case you should definitely need math, uh, you should do mathematics. So, so some learners move to uh, change over to mathematics literacy. They think it's easier, but they have to remember that it will close some doors for them. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, I don't think that everybody needs to do the real mathematics. I think mathematics literacy is a very good subject, and it prepares uh, people for f- f- give them and it gives them the uh, type of numeracy that one needs in everyday life. So, uh, f- f- since mathematics all mathematics literacy is uh, compulsory for, for, for all learners. I think the majority should be involved in mathematics literacy unless you want to do, a, uh, do something after grade 12 that, that, that's numerical of nature. Mm, mm. And, and I think uh, lastly, Johan, we mentioned uh, our performance 2012 at the, Olympiads, uh, at the 2012 Met Olympiads, rather, and uh, you're saying we came 56 out of 100 uh, countries, not too shabby, but uh, South Africa is hosting the next International Met Olympiads in 2014. That's now, right. what, what, what measures are to ensure that we as host country uh, will get credible and competitive of entries for this competition? Well, you see, if each country selects his own team, so uh, you can be sure that the, that the contestants that represent all the different countries are the best that you get. We have, a, we have a comprehensive process here in South Africa of training and of, of uh, competition sets and, and camps and uh, a number of training exercises which we use to select our teams. So this is, uh, in the end, we definitely get the best. The, but shall I, shall I mention in the same breath that our main objective with competitions 
is not the winner, it's participation. We want everybody to become part of mathematics competitions. We want to spread it as widely as possible because we, I'm sure that there are many very good young kids that we just don't get to that, and, that, and uh, we would like to give them the opportunity of also participating and perhaps become a South African team member. Mm -hmm. No, thank you so much, uh, Johan. I know you had to rush off or, or come out of a press conference to chat to us, and uh, we appreciate your time. Eh? No, thank you very much for, for, for talking. It was nice talking to you, Ernest. Likewise, likewise. Enjoy it immensely. Right. Thank All right. you. Uh, thank Bye. you so much. Johan Engelbrecht, uh, he is the Acting Vice President for uh, Teaching and Learning and Student Affairs at the University of uh, Pretoria. And that's our Tutuga personally found feature for this Wednesday. Wednesday.